Okay, so um, my favorite tool, I think more than the computer, more than technology, my favorite teaching tool is uh, a mini whiteboard. Um, so I gutted being in lockdown that I don't have access to that. So the best opportunity I found or the best option for kind of recreating that mini whiteboard feeling where I can see what every other student is doing is something called whiteboard.fi. So this is what you see. Um, you can either basically new classes, you're the teacher, join classes, you're the student. So actually let's have a let's have a look at it from that point. So uh, let's do a new class. Um, um, my name, I'll call it just Mr. Denton. There we go. We'll start it. Now students can access this class by visiting that. Now I could copy and paste that into a chat or they could just type in that if they want to. Oops, I think I'm accidentally put a forward slash in there, but it seems to have worked. Um, so name, let's join as Rory. Okay, so in terms of the teacher, the teacher can see what's um, what every person's doing. So if the kid in the room draws something inappropriate, which they inevitably will do, um, the teacher will be able to see it. I'm not going to draw something in wildly inappropriate now. Um, I'm going to try and draw... Um, uh, well, it was going to be a bat, but it looks more like a butterfly, so I'm turning it into a butterfly. So the teacher can see what the kid's drawing, and if there are multiple kids, they will be able to see multiple ones. Okay, so if, if I had asked the question to draw something with wings, there Ewan has drawn a bat, and Rory has drawn a butterfly. Um, then you're in just the wonderful territory of, well, what, what on earth do you want to do with this? You can ask as many questions as you like. It's easy enough for the students to um, erase what they've drawn, so they can kind of erase little bits and pieces, um, or they can clear their whole whiteboard and start drawing again. Um, and yet yeah, you as the teacher can kind of constantly keep on top of that. You can, if you want to, as the teacher, draw something and send it out to them. So let's see if I can um, do something that I might do with kids. So here we go, I've got a 12 volt battery. I know that's three ohms, I know that's nine ohms. And what I can do is I can send that out to all the students. Now every student then gets that and they have to then annotates the question that I could ask, for example, is um, what is the voltage across each one? And let's get that right here. Oops. So they think it's three volts at that one and they think it's nine volts at that one. And you as the teacher can then see who's getting that right and who's getting that wrong. Okay, so it seems that uh, yeah, Ewan's got that wrong, Rory's got that right, and it means I can I can address it like that. Really simple to use. So um, I was doing that from a computer. Um, I was also doing it from um, you know a mobile phone. So yeah, they can draw on there. It works works really well. Um, just yeah, just have have fun, go wild, and enjoy. Okay, that's whiteboard.fi. Thank you very much.